Okay. Don't we're back in the sh we're, we're back in the fungal wastes again. Uh, I'll cover yeah, that in fungal that wastes. That shower that shower didn't completely rid us of all this filth. Maybe this acid <laughs> will do the trick. Not even the <laughs> acid. I'm telling you, ow. I'm telling you, man, tomato juice. But I'm gonna say right now, this is the reason why I'm stinking. This is this... the ankle biter. Oh. oh. Or leg eater. Same oh, leg, leg eater, eater. Same thing. I can smell you. Do you Boy, I take a bath. <laughs> okay, Gion, you can see, see, yeah, see, yeah, you can buy, um, he has an interesting thing, they kind of remind me, like, of the rings, I'm gonna say no for now, you're a fool, aren't you? It's like Tim saying no you now. will regret this. How long does that musk last, anyway? Forever, as long as I keep this charm it, on. It, it's so a literal, yeah, it's a literal charm effect. Yeah. So you pay him 86, so here's the funny thing, you have to pay him in order to gain the privilege to pay him. Wait, what? Pretty much. And now that I'm stinking, I smell <laughs> very tasty. Yeah, just oh, go. oh, he loves it. To share such a tasty smell, do you want a gift in return? Cheaper, yes. I'll give them to you cheaper. So yeah, that's how I get. So kind of like the kind of like the. I'm gonna stop there, but kind of like the rings in Dark Souls. Um, in some cases, um. If you go, if I go to him, okay, that's right. I have to enter and leave, and then the discount fully applies or something. But uh, if I it did not. Oh no! It's, I guess it already did. Okay, this was this, uh, they must have patched it out. Then I was acting on a bug that was found in an earlier version of the game, where mm. if I showed up here already stinking, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this stink now. I don't need it anymore. Seriously, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep <laughs> it there. Wash there. myself of this filth. I, I've equipped I've equipped a charm that weaponizes it. Okay. Anyway, um here yep. but um actually okay so things i'm going to do here though is these those fragile charms i just bought from him they're unique in that yes they can make me have more health get make it so i collect more geo or stuff like that however um if i die they break completely and i have to buy new ones oh mm -hmm. eh. there is uh later on in a dlc they added another shop which is super expensive but they added another shop that allows me to actually take a fragile charm and turn it into a permanent one. But I'm not going to deal with that DLC content in this. That's fair. Yeah. It's it's just, it's a whole interesting plot and stuff. Very in I, I actually love the final boss of that DLC, but I decided to just kind of keep it to more straightforward for this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as you can tell from the map, I am going this way because I think it's actually about freaking time we go after those three dreamers and continue our main quest. Oh, about oh, yeah. okay. time. <laughs> Okay, remember. And only what a great tops. first step I've taken. Yeah. All it all it took was for Don't. was for me to stink so badly for me to actually focus on something other than the, other than well, the world around me. Yeah, really. Maybe it's the way I'm dressed. Yes, yeah, like <laughs> I can't say that the world stinks because I stink worse. <laughs> that is some that's some sound advice there. Yeah. I was thinking of opening this up with, I got the ugly. Wait. I mean, well, no yeah. reason, except oh, you gave this... me the ugly. Oh. Also, what's seen, also what's noticing here is be very careful. Notice how some of these eggs have a little orange core in them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Touch yeah. those, you blow up. Mm. Yeah, those are corrupt. So... Actually, actually, real quick, since we were talking about SpongeBob, um, so it's the middle of it's the middle of October by the time we're recording this, and. Because of that, and because of, you know, spoopy month, they I've been rewatching that episode of Spongebob of Scaredy Pants. There's this one moment where, I know it's not much, but for some reason, it just gets me in a riot every time. After Patrick helps Spongebob makes, make his Flying Dutchman costume, there's this one Jeez. still there's this one still of Patrick where he, like, he puts on his Groucho Marx glasses and he goes, Let's go scare somebody. And for some reason, <laughs> that just gets me every time. No, I do love his intensity and the deep... Let's go scare somebody. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh. Yeah. This is the very. Pre this is the precision point because again, every one of these eggs can deal two points of damage if I'm not careful. Oh, what's this? Another charm notch. Oh, mm. convenient. Like, put more charms. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, trust me. If you, it, I, I'm, I'm certain many people who were not aware of what those things did had a very rude awakening when they entered that room for the first time. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Oh, it's good that the acid, will, acid burns, it burns them clean off. Uh-huh. Aye. Don't deal with that. Uh, I see that. Did I see that? Yeah, I see these guys weren't quite as lucky. I'm still confused as to no. why there are jellyfish in a world of bugs. 
You and every person who's ever played this game. <laughs> Be because don't question this game, woman. Because they're the because they're the bugs of the sea. I like, I like you, you, it's it's just one of those instances where you just have to choose not to analyze every single oddity. I mean, granted, enjoy it. I mean, granted, this game already goes into full force with the fact that it's more than just more than trying to. It's it's completely subverting realism. So of course they're probably going to add in some su some very supernatural elements in there, like these electric jellyfish. Yeah, I mean, I'm I sorry, get it's sir, fantasy, could... but you know. A line has to I'm be drawn sorry, somewhere. Sir. I'm sorry, <laughs> dear friend. Could you please take that stink in outside, please? Seriously, oh, outside. seriously, seriously, it's it's irritating my trunk. Something fierce. And it's fogging up my glasses. Now I don't even know who I'm talking to. Wait, who <laughs> I don't am even... I talking to? It cut, Have I gone crazy? It cut, it, it cuts to it cuts to us hype, and we've we've left like ten minutes ago, and he's still talking to us. Like, I I I don't even know if you're there anymore. It's like, oh, give me I've, the silent treatment, are you? Well, two can play <laughs> that game. I've I've gone blind, but I'm sure you're still there. <laughs> sorry, you know I was also I can smell right now. Me too. <laughs> I was I was also I'm sorry. I was also thinking of the Klaus thing that you're 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 you're, you're already you're far, you're too far away. You're, you're uh, yeah, 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 you're you're already gone. <laughs> Why did you think that was a good idea? Actually, I, like, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought the pit was deeper than that. You know, I, I want to talk about that, but I want to ask ahead of time. Is there anything important that's about to come up soon? Uh, very. The The big thing that's going to be happening in this part is we're going to be uh, going after another big boss, having a huge character development moment for one of the main characters we've been seeing around here. And, uh, as I said, we're going to be finally taking down one of the three dreamers uh, that guard the seal of Hollow Knight. So, yeah, that I won't talk about it then. Well, I mean, immediately Don't... right now, what, what were we going to talk about? Grub. While I was going to talk to, since she seems to be like the biggest supporter of it, I wanted to talk with Allie about the thing you and I were talking about with Klaus. Yeah, Klaus. Oh, okay. That, uh, that, first yeah. off, I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to just finish up talking with Quirrell here. So he's, so this is the place that's been drawing Quirrell here. And also for those, maybe for those are very attentive, this, this icon above the archway on the left here also matches that of the icon above his, on his mask. Mm -hmm. oh. he, he comes from this place apparently hmm. he, come. he can't remember why he's here but now there seems something else this building beckons me so we're going to have to check out what's going on in there uh, other than that um, yeah, go, yeah go ahead talk about it I, just in the on. teacher's archives oh. so basically me and, me and Logan were talking about this thing that because we were watching the trailer and just genuinely we're interested to see where it goes However, we do have a bit of a problem with one of the big plot points in it, like the the town that's like, and they and I'm not exaggerating because they actually do flat out say it in the trailer. The town that prides itself on being miserable and despises the idea of joy being entered into this town. Mm, we both thought yeah. that, and we both think that's a little too hamfisted. Well, it just uh, yeah. was just because I've I've already seen that in the movie Trolls, and it just seems like such an odd reasoning. Like I I told hype, I think a better reason would have been something where like. Maybe what's happening is that everybody just nor genuine. Maybe the idea is that everybody is sad not because they want to be sad, but because they have valid reason to be sad, and they think that what the mailman and Klaus are doing are they're just they think they're crazy and they don't want. And here, here are two grown men trying to give toys and you know to the children and stuff. It it's very weird. Ow. Right. Yeah, oh, it's a chain reaction. Yeah, oh no, Jesus Christ. Oof. Be very careful with those guys. Yeah. And these also these electric fireflies that create full-on dramatic shocks. But yeah, that's the main thing is I feel like they could have written that plot point. It seems a little lazy, I guess, to just say, oh, they just like being evil or they like being sad. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I I do agree with you there. I am not I'm not a huge Wait fan a of minute. that. What what's happening here? <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Umu. 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 Otherwise otherwise known as Queen Metroid. Oh, it's Jesus. Also, well, maybe not so much Queen Metroid, but big, big honking Metroid. Be right back again. Yeah, no. okay. okay. No worries. And it's and its skin is too strong for my nail. Well, what do we do? I can't hurt. I can't do damage to it. We need help. Yeah. Yeah, we need I big help. I said we need help. Quirrell. Oh. Oh, boy. That's my cue. Oh. Yep. We need, we need Quirrell's help to come in here 
and he can use his nail to puncture its shield, and then that's when I can come in and deal some damage to it. Do it. All things, Do it. All things considered, though, he's a little, um... It's, he's actually, it's one of those cases where he only does it on the very, like, very specific intervals. Like, right. he's right. got it all a... over the place, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, there, there is no, oh jeez, okay, so he, and he has, and other than that, Umu really only has two attacks. One that has the electric home in and chase me, and one that has uh, just a bunch of electric shocks everywhere. Okay, heal. Oh god, I, don't, I need oh, heal. Yeah, no. you're, you're, you're out of well. soul, man. Okay, never mind, you got some back. A little bit. Okay, I'll take that for now. Yeah, this boss fight can be a little tricky. This is, yeah, but it, understandably so, because this is going to be one of the, uh, again, one of the big three bosses I need to fight. Oh, geez, not yet. Okay, homing in on me. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, be careful. We're jumping, 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 jumping. Oh, come on. This, it's also much easier when you don't have to worry about the acid by being able to, you know, swim in it and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, but yeah, like but yeah, like James mentioned, uh, Quirrell only does it on certain instances. There's no way for me to force him. Oh, there's no way for me to force him to uh, attack. I just have to wait. Come on. There. Oh, oh, there you go. You got it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the power of an. That's the power of an upgraded nail. And kaboom. Whew. Okay. So yeah, that's all said and done. Now what? Now we head down here because it's time to guard the dreamer that that guy was inexplicably guarding without even realizing it because that thing just seemed feral. Uh, a tank full of charged luma flies. Hmm. So that's what they're called. Welcome back, hype. And that's pretty much their, and that's pretty much your only means of getting the luma flies in uh, the journal. Right. There are some, some uh. for for some for some enemies that are just like impossible to kill. Usually, you have to just look around and you'll find like their remains or something to use as your like entry yep there go and i think they give you yeah. both 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 the typical um description as well as um the hunter's thoughts on the matter something glows within the tank yeah i see it looks I... vaguely jellyfish like oh hey girl <clears throat> what oh, you gotta she... say she you oh, there you go i realize it's no coincidence we arrived together really so he plays a hand in this prophecy as well but much of my memory is blank this place i recall so he used to he used to study here, and I guess something. Even though he lost all of his memory, something was like placed inside of him to remember to come back here at some point when we showed up. Hmm. So she saw the teacher's stories. The teacher willingly became a seal, but upon herself she enacted an additional protection. Because right now she's kind of like lucid or invisible; we can't see her physical form, and that is because the mask that Quirrell is using as a helmet actually is being used to help seal that protection so he will help me remove it so we may destroy her you know i'm not gonna lie from that perspective it was at earlier it almost kind of <laughs> looked like it like you thought this was part of my head <laughs> it she wasn't is. yeah go ahead hype i was just gonna say back earlier when he was when he still had that thing on and he was like looking like a little towards the camera he kind of looked like an insectoid chibi robo it does kind of look like that. I can sort of see it. So this, I believe, is Monomon the teacher. No, oh. no Monomon's watcher. Uh, this is... Uh, I think we'll, we, I, th I think we learned their name. But this is one of the three guardians, the teacher. Ooh, time for some Luigi Neri mm. madness. Oh, yeah. So you're did just I mention supposed that to the beat the... Did, did, supposed don't, to beat don't. the shit out of her? Yeah, did I mention that the guardians are kind of like spiritual pinatas? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I thought they, you were gonna exactly actually fight them. No, no, no. The, the, it's like the boss fight before it is like what you use. Like that's like oh. your right of earning them. I see. And a seed. Never mind. Destroyed. That was her mask, and her seal over the Hollow Knight's Black Egg Temple is now should be broken. One third. Oh. Oh. Two remain. Wow. And I'm sure those are going to be just easy. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sure. And so, and one of them surely won't be nightmare fuel. So where'd you go? Oh yeah, that whole area. Oh gosh, I forgot about that section. Oh, Madam's life is extinguished, and with it, her seal breaks. Huh. It's a heavy thing you attempt, but I've seen your prowess up close, and she too believed you capable. Maybe on your journey, then allow me rest of time. With the deed complete, I begin to feel my age. 
Oh, how old are you anyway? Oh, wow. I, I mean, since all this was like dozens and dozens of years old, I guess. Uh, it's sad. It's one of those things where like he was kept alive and youthful and like energetic because they knew he had that purpose to serve and ah. Oh. You know what? Now I'm, sure I'm just imagining that like. With that line he says, I feel my age catching up with me, what if he just kind of did what the villain of the CGI Turtles film did and just, like, instantly disintegrate now that time caught up with him? Oh, no. Uh -oh. Well, 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 thank, well, thankfully, you, you, if you want to, you can find him, see him at least one more time oh, before he's completely out of the picture. Right, which I will show that off. Because so, if you recall... Go ahead. Oh, no, you were, you were, doing, you were saying a thing. Because uh, if, if you recall, he had one other mission he wanted to do in life, which was he always wanted to know where all the rain and City of Tears comes from. And we'll hopefully see him uh, find that uh, answer later. Anyway, back to yeah. you. Yeah. So I was going to ask, that that uh, that mask he was wearing as a helmet, That was that like keeping him young or something also? Maybe. Actually, since uh, honestly, it would ma I could see that perhaps being the reason... And because the teacher gave that to him in order to work with, I mean, I could see that totally being the explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a CO. I guess it would have to keep him young, just on the off chance that it would take a while for for us to get here. Right, and he would, and he needed to keep the protection alive at all times. So it could be, yeah. You so know, we're heading over. If, go yeah, ahead. more for the fact that um, what's her name? Um, oh, what was the other character's name? I forget already. Hornet. Hornet, yeah. If it weren't for the fact that Hornet's already getting her own sequel, I could totally see uh, Coral here getting his own as well. Yeah, he seems considering like his pretty, his whole journey is mostly separate from ours. Yeah, he seemed like a pretty yeah. upstanding dude, and he and he also seemed pretty you know adept in Upsta combat as well. He seemed like an upstanding man of moral f of, of what was it? What was the line again? Uncompromising moral fortitude. fortitude. <laughs> and <he> just, <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I, it took me I'm, a second. I'm, I'm I really, just. Yeah, it, it took yeah, me a second okay, to realize yeah. it was yeah what you were what you were referencing. For a moment, I, I thought know. you guys were about to confuse it with the men, with the men of lower fiber. Oh no! That's oh no! That, that's <laughs> a completely different thing. Uh, it, it's, I uh, do. it's that trio of pirates from the first two Monkey Island games. What the? What is that? Oh, it's an, it, it's another one of those uh, shaman, those shell shaman dudes. Ow, 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 ow. And, thus, and thus, we get one of my favorite spells in the game until I upgrade it, and then it becomes even more favorite: Howling Wraiths. Wow. Which what? is a spell that basically casts a lot of damage above me. Really? What do you have to say? Don't hear me. You, you, you are heard. We, so, we hear you. What was that? I, I can't quite hear you from here. <laughs> Let's see. You seem He's to be a bit deadish. He, He's the freaking Verizon okay. guy. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Well, let's see. Ha! He's good. He just looks up and goes like, Hey! Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Hey, keep it down. Now, that uh, spell, especially once I upgrade it, I love it because it deals a lot oh, of damage nice. up. And as you just noticed, uh, if I if it, it, it can honestly wreck some bosses, <clears throat> final boss, because mm. if I position myself just right, I can actually like deal multiple hits with one spell. Like it like it overlaps itself. Kind of. Ugh, thing. Makes me wish oh, I had that, had that when I was playing the game. Aww. How far yeah, are you into good. it, by the way? Did you beat it already? I beat. I got the normal ending, and I honestly, that's just about as far as I wanted to go. Which is fair. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna talk about the uh, the two. I was gonna talk about the two endings I don't get. Oh, it's a a big ambush. Ooh. It's a, a big ambush. He yeah. He wasn't yeah, really happy about earlier. that. Uh, Ow. Ow. We, I think we I think we covered that pun earlier. But yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot nope. to fight this mini boss, so I'm kind of overpowered. Whoa! By that. Whoa! 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 Ah. Flee, you really? critters! Anyway, they're fine. I apologize so the, if uh, that so the, if that like assaulted your ears. <laughs> no, you're fine. Honestly, so the two... you, honestly, it's so uncommon for me. I don't think people notice. Yeah. So the two so the two endings that I will not be getting are the normal ending, which is I I defeat him without obtaining the true ending. So what happens in that instance is ow. so what happens in that instance is I basically take the Hollow Knight's place. Because he doesn't, because the Hollow Knight is there trying to keep the corruption at bay, and once I destroy him, I basically, I basically prove that I'm a stronger, uh, what's the phrase? I'm a stronger avatar than him or whatever. So I become the new host of the infection to keep it at bay ah. until hmm. probably, but 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 I guess you could call it a kind of foreboding ending because it's like we didn't actually destroy the corruption; we're just delaying the inevitable a little longer, kind of thing. Yeah, basically. And then there's a there's a third ending that I get, 
that is possible, but you have to like beat one of the hardest challenges in the other DLC called the Godmaster or whatever like that. It's a, it's basically the Olympus Coliseum taken to its logical extreme, like the isn't, Hades Cup kind of stuff. Isn't there? And is, I take it that I take it which what you're referring to is pretty much the alternate alternate version of the ending that you're getting. Right. Where in that case. I, in a sense, destroy some corruption. I basically become way, super crazy powerful. And what happens is, uh, in that ending, it actually focuses on Hornet. And it shows that the Hollow Knight has broken free of its own chains. And it shows Hollow Knight, and it shows Hornet about to face the Hollow Knight alone. And the, it, ends, it ends like that, like on a cliffhanger. So, between that, the normal ending, and what I'm going for, which is, up until this point, then the true ending... I'm almost very. I'm almost really curious to see like what ending, if if Silk Song does take place after the events of this game, which ending they'll treat as canon. Hmm. Because they're, they're they they have some options. They have they have a couple options open to them. Yeah. yeah. Of course, that's still a good ways away, considering we still don't have a freaking release date yet as of this recording. Yeah. No. No. That is Nothing we can really do about that. So. Join us in the next part where we're actually going to be. Uh, I realize I probably should have been doing this a while ago. Uh, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna have we're, we're gonna have a lot of arena fun. That Olympus Coliseum stuff is finally around the corner. Oh Join us boy, it's coming a lot sooner than we, than I expected. Till next time, guys. Bye. Get on the tarantula's back. <laughs>